Just wanted to point something out real quick. Everything you're about to see in this video doesn't even happen if it wasn't for this sound effect. Let me explain. So in 2017, me, Gibby, and Chip were spending our first summer in New York together. About a couple of weeks after we met our good friend Rocket, we started to get to know everyone around the neighborhood. Every time we would be sitting at the smoking area, we would always run into new people. Here is where we would meet Salty and Slim. Slim was a guy who had big dreams of running huge businesses and just overall loved raking in the Benjamins. So what did he do? He opened up countless of services when he lived in New York. He had a car washing service, a lawn mowing service, and even a driving your drunk ass around because you should always drink responsibly. Uh, service. What can I say? He made big profit from doing that. And they say capitalism doesn't work. Hey, hey, you can't say that. That's offensive. Capitalism is racist. And why aren't you two wearing ma- You realize he wasn't wearing a mask too, right? Well, oh my god, I didn't even realize that. What, that he wasn't wearing a mask? No, that that was a dude. And then there was Salty. Salty was a friend of me and Shipper that we would occasionally have drinks with from time to time. Plus, he would always jokingly call me a mother f Sorry, my mom says I curse in these videos too much. She's Catholic. And then we had Parker and Ling Ling. Ling Ling and Chipper were funny together because every time that they would cross paths, they would always say some messed up shit to each other. And it was the funniest thing. Loser. Jerk. What, what did, did you, you say? say? And as for Parker, me and Parker got along through our shared interest in pop culture and skate culture. And as much as I love skate culture, I can't actually skateboard. I'll Ooh. die. And then we had Otto. Otto was kind of quiet, but he definitely wasn't innocent. Every time we would go out somewhere, he would go behind you and pinch your elbows. And why did he do this? Because he was a rotten little sh- Oh, my bad. Catholic channel. Sorry. He also did this thing where he would have a bag of potato chips, and every time he would put a chip in his mouth, he would go really loud. No! This is why mom doesn't fucking love you! It was pretty safe to say that we were getting along with everybody in the area. But one day, we came across someone who we had never met before. Out by our old smoking area, there was this guy that would always be sitting by himself talking on the phone. Every time we went outside, we would always see him in the same place. I kind of wanted to say hi to him, but I didn't really know how to introduce myself to him. Plus, I'm awkward as hell, and I would probably have a stroke mid-sentence. But I knew when I would eventually introduce myself to him, it would come naturally. But what happened next would change everything for the rest of our time in New York. And it was all because of some stupid joke we had. So one day, Chipper and Salty were roasting each other in the smoking area, and the whole time they were roasting each other, I was wishing I had one of those air horns to comically hype up the mood. So later on that night, I was scrolling through the app store where I eventually found the legendary Hamhorn app. This app played multiple sound effects, including the previously mentioned air horn sound effects. So the next day when I ran into Chipper, our conversation kinda went something like this. Dude, Chipper, say something epic. Um, Astro suck? Dude, what the hell? I know, right? Isn't this awesome? Hey, boys, what you guys got there? Guys, say something epic. Xbox is better than PlayStation. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. The next thing you know, Gibby, Rocket, and Otto all downloaded it, and we kept making this stupid joke where we would hype up people as they walked by. Would you guys stop blasting that stupid air horn? You guys sound so annoying. When are you guys gonna start finally acting your A? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. We then took our shenanigans of Fridays where we continue to play this stupid noise, even when our waiter was trying to take our order. Yeah, I'd like to order the Jack Daniels wings, please. He's getting the Jack Daniels wings. Whoa! <laughs> the funny part was, our waiter found this joke funny, and he constantly kept coming back to our table to chat with us. By the end of our time there, he asked us for our Facebook names so he could friend us. We ended up becoming friends with our waiter because of this stupid app. This is literally going to be the thing that cures the coronavirus! Soon after we got back, we were getting pretty close to beer o'clock, so Rocky went back to his place to grab some more beer, while me, Gibby, and Chip went back to our places to grab the rest of the bevs. As we were heading downstairs to the smoking area, we once again saw that same guy talking on the phone in the same area. So me, Gibby, and Chipper, who were already hyping up people as they were passing by, I looked at the new guy and I just said, 
It's a new guy! As I was spamming the air horn, I don't know what it was, but his eyes just glowed as if a Cowboys fan just watched their team get past the second round. It's really unfair. It's my team. And he just looked at us and said, Bro, these guys are cool as hell! Hey, I got some beers in my room, can I join you guys? Yeah, sure man! So a couple minutes go by, and this dude comes back with more beer, and soon enough, Rocket comes strutting his way on back, and then we just started shooting the shit with the new guy. You know, earlier when I said that we would introduce ourselves to him, that it would come naturally, but would you really consider that natural? Most people would just be like, Hey, we're about to have a few beers, you wanna join us? Sure. But instead, ours went something like this. Hey, we're about to get totally shit-faced, you wanna join us? I'm in! There's something seriously wrong with us. So as we sat down with the new guy, we put the spotlight on him and we gave him all of our attention. And he told us his name was Marlon. And Marlon told us how he came from this mysterious land called Miami. Ooh. Home to the most beautiful beaches, Disney World, the famous bath salts guy that ate someone's face, and home to the local baseball team that accidentally derped their way to two World Series. But if there was one thing that Marlon told us he loved more than anything, was America, baby! And let me tell you something, if you thought Rocky was patriotic, not even close. This son of a bitch sprinkles his eggs with gunpowder for breakfast and bleeds mama's sweet southern moonshine. America, I will build a great the night was going along great, especially when a little later on when a few friends of ours came on by. Our friends Gator, Dallas, and Oscar came by to welcome Marlon into our fold. That night was so memorable, and what made it so much more better was seeing Marlon getting along with everyone so well. So the following day, me and Chipper hung out with Marlon in my room, and as always, I had the Yankee game on, and just when we thought it couldn't get any better, Marlon told us how much he loved baseball. <laughs> At this point in our lives, me and Chipper thought that people who liked baseball as much as we did were extinct. But there the three of us sat, watching World Series highlights on my phone, reflecting on our most beloved baseball memories. Nothing but good times, yep. Yeah, yeah, nothing but good, nothing but good times, fuck you Marlon. And because we all lived in New York and we obviously couldn't get Marlon's games, we would just meet up in my room and watch Yankee games and he was just as happy with that. In all honesty, I don't think he really cared about what team was on, he was just happy enough to meet some dudes who he could just chill out and watch a baseball game with. And why baseball, you may ask? Because it's a real man's sport! Ain't that right, Mom? So one day we were all going to celebrate Gibby and Chipper's birthday since, ironically enough, they share the same birthday. So the plan was we would eat at Friday's, and we would end the night at this cabin, and everyone was going to have a good time. But there was one small problem. <laughs> yeah, Chevy was going to be there. You guys remember Chevy, right? Are you playing with our chess? The dude that would always murder bone and always throw his unnecessary two cents in. You know, like a Karen yelling at a bunch of teenagers to wear a mask. Now what was he even doing there in the first place you may ask? Well he was the one running out the cabin and Chipper was the only one that got along with him. And Chipper and Gibby wanted everyone to come by and celebrate their birthday with them. So when we got to dinner, we introduced Marlon to two more friends of ours, Owen and Crystal. Now in case you're wondering to yourself why I gave Owen his name, well, you see, it's pretty simple. The dude looks like Owen Wilson in real life. Wow. As for Marlon, he was getting along with everyone at the table. We were joking and laughing. We were constantly feeding Gibby shots because that's what you do to your friends when they turn 21. Now the previous night, Marlon had downloaded the Hamhorn app and he was pressing it, but keep in mind, his volume was turned down low and we weren't there to disrupt anyone else's night. I mean, what, what do we look like, savages? But of course the Virgin Police had to make an entrance and spoil the fun. Which was funny because everyone at the table was laughing except for Chevy. So as usual, he had to make shit awkward for everyone else around him. So as we were leaving, we had to haul Gibby's skinny ass out of there because he got so drunk he forgot why we were there in the first place. And as we were leaving, Chipper, Gibby, and Rocket were leaving with Chevy, while me and Marlon were leaving with Owen and Crystal. Now keep in mind, Chipper and Gibby were both drunk, so Chevy was the one driving Chipper's truck, so I asked him if he could give me directions of the cabin that they were going to. Hey Chevy, you mind giving me directions of the cabin so I can tell them how to get there? Sure buddy, I'll text them to you. Awesome, thanks a lot man.
How's it going everybody? So I just want to say I'm really sorry I've been gone for so long. I've been really busy with my current job and a lot has happened in the last six months, but I'll be explaining that in another video. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll be back a lot sooner with another video and I can't wait to see you there. Peace. Oh, and happy holidays.